I'm Tom and this is Isabel. Over the last few years we've been converting an old Ford Transit we call La Bamba. Despite a pandemic we managed to take her down the coast of Spain and Portugal last year where we learned the ins and outs of van life. A second lockdown in Cornwall gave us the chance to give her some much needed improvements and now for the last two months we've been travelling around Scotland where we've discovered some of the most amazing spots driven on beautiful roads, been wild swimming wherever possible, been on some very wet hikes and found unbelievable park ups. Join us this week as we encounter some unexpected visitors outside the van, we endure our coldest river swim yet and stay tuned to the end to see three waterfalls you cannot miss if you're visiting the Cairngorms. This is so amazing, how is this real life? morning so last night we stayed next to kind of a busy road it was quite overnight but um it's quite busy now quite fast but we are in the Cairngorms um we've had a bit of a lazy morning as well as been working oh uh Isabel's got a day off so we had a bit of a lion um we just tidied the van up and i think we're going to treat ourselves to a coffee in a cafe so we're going to drive into a little town have a look around and then go and explore the Cairngorms, I guess. So yesterday, we stopped off on the way here and we just found so many mushrooms. So we got quite a lot of chanterelles, golden chanterelles. And then we've also got wind chanterelles, also called yellow legs and trumpet chanterelle. Yeah. I haven't tried these ones before, so we have to try them out. We have so many mushrooms, we're like, um, more mushrooms than we can eat. We don't really know what to do with them all. So here we are in Carbridge. It's about a two minute drive. Uh, and it seems like a nice little town. There's a nip in the air though. It's certainly been a bit more wintry and I didn't wear any socks with my oh, back no. and socks. I've got very chilly toes. So I looked online and at where to go, it looks really cute. It's like the community one. The one we want to go to shut up. <laughs> there, there's one called Carbridge Kitchen. It's really nice here. So Carbridge is very pretty, but the cafe is closed and the kitchen thing is permanently closed. So <laughs> Two places I found on, online. It's yeah, crazy. so I think we're going to drive on to Aviemore and see if we can find a little cafe there. So Aviemore's a bit bigger, so it should be in luck. So very stop short, uh, short. So a very short stop in Carbridge. It's very nice, but we're moving on. Let's go to Aviemore. We have driven to Aviemore and Isabel has found a spot with vegan friendly options and we're on some industrial estate around the back end of uh, Aviemore. So let's see what Isabel has found. So to get to this cafe we have to go through another shop. This is a real feast. Look at this vegan breakfast. Hey, that was actually really nice. Uh, really big breakfast. We ate it all up, and nice and full. I bet we'd use up most of the day, to be honest. It's like 12 o'clock already. Um, that's our own fault. Yeah, that's our fault. We get up so late. Uh, but yeah, if you fancy a meal nice in a recce. nice vegan breakfast in an industrial estate, this is the place it to go. It's so nice. It's so full um, cool now. But yeah, I think we will now go into Aviemore and have a little look around and um, go to the supermarket. Yeah. 
Um, so we've done our little shop in Tesco and we've got ingredients for our creamy mushroom pasta and we're just wandering around Avonmore and it's really busy here, it's like so many tourists around. I've seen three charity shops, so three charity quick, shops. Quick pit stop. <laughs> So we got this really nice green Le Creuset pan. So you're saying we really want a big pan, so like big one pot dishes, stews. We haven't really got a nice pan. And the other day I dropped our pan and the lid doesn't fit anymore. So this is really nice. It's proper Le Creuset, which would be worth a lot. And it's a lovely colour. And then I've got a dress and a, a pair of dungarees, both size six, which I am not. So we'll see if they fit. Yeah, as a donation point otherwise. Yeah. I mean, this whole that whole shop came to twenty quid. But is uh, all the time we're going to spend in Abbeymore. Um, so I think we're now going to go and drive to a little lock up near Cairngorm Mountain, which should be nice. It's a bit cold and um, it's raining a little bit. I'm keen for uh, finding a nice park up and watching a movie. To be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to see that too. Yeah, that's, that's just really cold. That's cold, man. That's that is doable. Go on then. Don't need to wash yet. Right. Is that our, uh, trip to look. <laughs> our grand trip? I think you just witnessed um, the shortest visit to Lock. I can't remember what it's called, more leg. Oh. I'll find a little park up uh, where we're going to stay tonight, and uh, it's really nice. Look at this. I've just found a tick in my chest, I was just trying to get it out. And I turned around, and look, look who's here. Where are they beeping? Stop Half seven. Um, we're just settling in for the night, really. We haven't uh, had a pretty chilled evening. Mm. Got the bed out, and um, we're just eating some creamy pasta with our wild mushrooms we picked. Oh my god, this is like before I became vegan. Creamy pasta was like my favourite meal. So to have a vegan version of this, oh my god, it's so nice. And the mushroom flavour really comes out in the mm. sauce. Basically, just used um, oatly cream as the cream. Uh, a little bit of mustard, some pepper, and uh, well, that's cheese, it really. Yeah. yeah, and cheese, yeah, and uh, Biolife cheese. You just put that little bit of grated stuff in? Yeah, the grated stuff. And no in. more? No. Well, I guess we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So, um, last night we watched Squid Game and uh, I had quite a nice chilled evening. And then this morning my friends just texted me saying, Mate, did you know the Northern Lights are out over Scotland? So, um, the Squid Game's all right, but we probably should have watched the Northern Lights, but oh well. Uh, today I think we're going to go find some woodland and hopefully forage some more things. Um, it's a bit misty and measly and grey today. So we've only been walking a short way and we've found our first mushroom, which is this one here. And this is a scaly hedgehog mushroom. So you can see it doesn't have gills, it has like hedgehog spikes. And uh, this is edible, but it is apparently uh, quite bitter. We walked on about another 10 meters and Isabel has already found a mushroom off camera, but it's the classic chanterelle. Um, and then we've also got these uh, and it's juniper. So these are where you get your juniper berries to make gin. So I can see some, oh, I can't see any now. Down here, we've got these which are little, the bilberries. And we've also found a few cowberries as well. Mmm, bilberries.
we are at our next park up it is pretty awesome um it's really cool we're in the middle of nowhere really wild uh, i'm just gonna go and head down to the river and listen to an audiobook i think oh hey i'm actually just, <laughs> <laughs> i'm literally like on top of the world i've just had coffee and i feel amazing um i'm just loving it <laughs> i'm sending so many gifts at work <laughs> Woo! Through the black sword of Pelic and We are settling in for the night. Isabel was actually working, she's doing late shift today, and we've set up the uh, camping table in the bed. I needed some place for my mouth, so I thought we'd bring the camping chair in, but it's actually so heavy. It's on actually your worked alright, I think. It just means you can't really get out. Like, I'm so thirsty, yeah. I haven't had a drink in ages. It's about 11 degrees. It's kind of blustery, it's threatening to rain and we're going to make the most of this balmy weather by going for a swim in the mountain river. I am not keen for this, um, but we need to wash. I'm keen! Woo! Look at this! Amazing! We can have a wash in this beautiful place. Not necessarily what we want to do because I wanted to go for a swim in the local pool but they don't accept non-residents, it's a hotel, and they don't accept non-residents, so I need a wash, river it is. And today is actually the warmer day, tomorrow it gets down to zero degrees. Yeah, the weather's really dropping in the next few days, we're going to have some like uh, freezing temperatures, so it goes down to zero and maybe just into the low minuses. But, gotta make the most of this warm weather while it's here, warm. Wim Hof, Wim Hof, Wim Hof. We're gonna get the bars. Look at this amazing place. We're gonna feel on top of the world after this swim. Um, I'm a bit scared about washing my hair because that's gonna take quite a while. But wait till you see this spot, it's so nice. It's like really deep, gushing cold water. <laughs> That is definitely the coldest water we've swam in yet. Um, proper cold. It's like, I'm just numb now. It's really windy and cold, but I feel like hot. Um, yeah, it was good. Cold water is always good. Overall, very glad we did that because we needed a wash, but gonna yeah. keep it moving to keep warm. So showering in the van is simultaneously the worst and best bit. <laughs> That was extreme, that yeah. coldness. But you feel really good after. After you that, feel like, great, but you before you... Andurian is bloody grim. You've got that like warm buzz, but yeah. like your body almost feels hot, which is like one of the first signs of hypothermia. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna go uh, pick up a couple of things. So last week you might have heard a bit of buzzing on the microphone. Uh, I've got some things to hopefully fix that and stop the mic popping into sh shot as well so um and then off to the folk museum and maybe a walk and services as well so busy day ahead all before i start work all before isabel well starts a uh, full day at work um my next question is are we going to the highland folk museum <laughs> yes <laughs> we're off to the highland folk museum we've Ju just picked up our parcel from the post office. Can you hold it? And I am so cold that I just had to go and have a little dance in the back to out out, bang in tune, and make myself a hot drink. Um, wait, don't go yet because I'm always here on. Bye. So I think me and Ez have realised what we want to do with our life now. Yeah. We want to live in the Scottish Highlands in the 1700s. Yeah. <laughs> 
little houses and just live like medieval people. Yeah, become little medieval peasants. just leaving the Highland Folk Museum. Um, the weather has just turned, but the place was way bigger than we were expecting. It's like a mile long um, museum of all like yeah. houses through time. And um, we've basically spent all day here, so we're not gonna end up doing any of the other things we're planning today, but it was really nice. Yeah, I was really impressed that you could spend a whole day here. There was so much to see, and it's my favorite kind of museum because it's outdoors and you can just walk around. You're not just like stuck in one room. And it was really cool to see all the... It was really um, like, good um, research for how houses. we want to live. Yeah. <laughs> what, what period of history are we going to build a house from? It was, it was pretty like, cold last night. We got uh, our first frost uh, fully frozen on the windscreen. Uh, it's a lovely clear day. But yeah, we think it went down to only about zero. It didn't go below. But yeah, nice and chilled. Lovely morning. I'm outside letting Isabel do her business. Good morning everybody, we've come to Feshy Bridge and we're going to do the Feshy Bridge Woodland Trail and I'm really out of breath already, <laughs> it's so cold this morning, we woke up and it was zero degrees and it said it feels like minus three so it's our first proper cold morning in the van and I'm having a banana but it's like frozen it's so cold because it's been in the window it literally hurts your teeth to eat it <laughs> so as we were driving to Feshy Bridge this morning um, we could see snow out on the peaks of the Cairngorms which weren't there before so obviously there was some snow in the uh, highlands last night it must have been the first of the year which is quite cool nice to see the distant peaks all white So we've just done the Feshi Woodland Walk and that was really nice. And now we're on the Sculpture Trail. Kind of nice in a way that it's not gonna leave any destruction. It's just gonna rot away back into the earth. from the Cairngorms National Park. We are parked up near Blair Atoll in this little park up, bit of a random one. It's by a train track and the A road, but it's actually really nice. Like look at the back. I'll just show you the scenery. Look at that. We're just parked here. Ready for the day. We've got a day of waterfalls and woodlands and nice places. So we've got to get cracking if we're going to do it all today. Um, well, we don't really, no real rush. But I do want to get last week's vlog edited before Sunday, which is only tomorrow. So um, we do have a bit of time pressure, but not really. Uh, so we are just at this car park for the Falls of Brewer. This car park also leads to the shopping centre. So there's a little fancy shopping centre. It's the most poshest shopping centre I've ever seen. It's like a gentleman's clothing hall. We're going to the Falls of Brewer. Sounds weird. Echo, echo, echo. We are in the tunnel. 
Oh, this is so beautiful. Right, we have just arrived at the car park of Falls Brewer. Like I said, fancy pants yeah, shopping centre. I can't wait to use the toilets. I'm, I'm quite excited to have a little browse because it's like way out of our league, but it'll be fun to be in a posh place. Buy my swimming pool. Enjoy. Day off in the forest. Love it. So my ideal walk is a proper path with a set route, set distance guidings, little markings on the way. I love it because I love knowing how much you've done and I love knowing like how long it will last and not getting lost. But Tom's idea is to go off the beaten track, get lost. But what I'm loving about Scotland is there's definitely a bit of both, but it's really nice because before work every day we managed to do like an actual thing because there's lots of, of routes around Scotland you can just pick and it has like a set map and length of time for the walk. So yeah, highly recommend my kind of walks. Oh, just saying it'd be really good to have a swim here in summer. Not quite up for it today. Not that desperate for a shower. It's a really nice um, autumn walk through the woodlands. Uh, it's quite busy because I guess it's quite accessible, easy walk and very pretty. So. Something about the forest, it's just so peaceful and um, calm and quiet and very special. Okay, go to the forest and you'll feel great. <laughs> Trust me in this one. Numero dos, Falls of Araka. Um, we've seen so many fly garricks on the way up, it's so cool. So I'm thinking, watch out for steps. Uh, on the way to the waterfalls, we have just spotted a sign for Hermit's Cave, so off we go. That's so cool. So um, normally I plan what we're doing. So I was caught, sort of got an idea of where we're going and what we're going to see. But today Isabel sort of picked the locations. So I'm going in blind. So it's really fun to be like a surprise of where we're going. We weren't going to do the circle, but I'm so glad we did. Look at this. Waterfall numero tres, called the Burks above Feldy. I'm not sure if we're going to do it because um, well, we've already done two waffle walks today.
we decided we were going to do the whole walk. We were a bit put off because it said it was going to take like two hours, but we've just finished it and it took 40 minutes, so I'm glad we did do it. We are pretty close to Pit Lockery. We've just found a park up in the woods just outside town and we're going to walk into town and Iz wants to go to a charity shop and we might get fish and chips. Ooh, and we made it safely under the three metres because we well, that is our, our limit. We're 2.8 without our solar panels so I wouldn't go over it under anything that's more than three metres so Rainbow. we're just having a great day. We've just done so much sightseeing and it's only like three o'clock so charity shops! highlight of the day is coming still and we're going to the place to be place about like the fish yeah. maybe get a veggie burger we've just been to pit lockery and had a couple of beers at the pub which was really nice we don't get to go to the pub that often anymore um and we got a takeaway we had fish and chips mm, veggie burger and chips uh yeah fish um but it was really nice, it was really nice to have a bit of civilization for a bit and now we're back in the van, it's been really rainy so we're glad to be back and we're going to watch a movie and then hit the hay mm -mm, fast food so we are at yet another amazing location but you're going to have to wait till next week to see what this one is uh, thanks for watching, make sure you like if, if you liked it <laughs> and subscribe. Cheers and go on. Thank you.